What is going on, good people of YouTube? I'm Jay Slay. Thank you so much for joining me. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're playing some Madden 21, but before we get into it, if you enjoy the content, leave a like rating. And if you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay updated with all of my uploads. If you missed our previous video, I'll leave a link in the description of this video for you to go check it out. In it, we have a riveting discussion on whether or not Sprinter or Brawler is a better physical chemistry in Madden. 21 if you're interested go check that video out so for today's video I'm going to be discussing who I feel currently are the top three budget wide receivers in Madden 21 I know this is a video that I'm sure you have been waiting for with the launch of our top three budget players at each position and if you are new to the channel and did not realize that we have a series centered around this go click on the card in the top right hand corner it'll take you right over to the playlist but today we've got the top three budget wide receivers before I get into it I want to outplay the YouTube algorithm I want you to tell me in the comment section down below who do you feel is the best wide receiver of all time there are a lot of good choices and i am interested to see who you feel is the best wide receiver of all time in the comment section down below but without further ado let's get into the number three wide receiver on my list of the top three budget wide receivers okay boy do we have some good ones for you you know we must have and we're coming out hot right here with this 90 overall Las Vegas Raiders wide receiver. This is Henry Ruggs. Now let's take a look at some of these attributes and why I feel like relative to his price, this is one of the better wide receivers in the game. So he's got 95 speed with the card. Now no power up. So unless you put sprinter on him, unless you put brawler on him, you're not going to be able to increase that anymore. You want to be putting Sprinter on him, in my opinion. Uh, but that 95 speed is pretty phenomenal with this card. If you have 40 Sprinters and have that maxed out, it's going to go up to 97 speed. Pretty awesome for a 90 overall card, right? Let's take a look at some of the other attributes, right? So if we have Tier 10, a tier 10 Play Fake, we're going to get his short and his medium route running up over that 90 threshold. It's pretty awesome, right? If you want to use him, say, in a gun bunch, and you want to use him in the slot where he's he's your cover three beater, right? You could have tier 10 go deep, in which case 87 deep route running is going to get boosted all the way up to 91. So he's over the 90 threshold there. So a 95 speed wide receiver based on what you want to do with him. If you want to use him on short to medium routes, you can put play fake on your players. That's going to get him over the 90 threshold with both of those. If you want to use him as your cover three, cover four beater, hitting him deep, hitting those bombs with Henry Ruggs, you put go deep. He's going to have 91 deep route running, so it's pretty awesome, right? 87 catching, not too bad, right? I mean, if you're smart, if you've played the game, you know when to rack catch, when to possession catch, that's not going to be that big of a factor. The catch in traffic could. You just got to make sure that you're throwing him... You know, when he's open, when there's not one or two other defenders that are around because he's probably not going to hold on to the ball, right? But once again, you be, make smart decisions. Possession catch when need to. Rack catch when need to. You'll be just fine there. But this card right here, one of the better cards in the game at only 90 overall, considering that base 95 speed. Let's go ahead and take a look at his price so you'll see exactly how much this card is going for and exactly how much you're not going to have to spend for a pretty awesome wide receiver. 53 k well under 100k, which is what the standard is for this budget series. The only downside, in my opinion, of Henry Ruggs here is he has the deep threat archetype. If he was a route runner or if he was a slot archetype, he'd have route tech for two ability points. He's all He would also have access to the slot apprentice. So based on what you want to do in your offense, that could come in handy, right? But nonetheless, that deep threat archetype is a bit of a drawback because it is going to be higher ability point points for some of those better abilities but nonetheless Henry Ruggs coming in at number three a wide receiver that I definitely feel you consider picking up on your team if you're looking to save some coins okay some of these new ultimate legend cards the lower tier cards that have just been recently added into the game are absolutely sick and disgusting this is definitely one of them this is 91 overall wide receiver Isaac Bruce now we touched on Brian Dawkins Brian Dawkins is a phenomenal safety we touched on him in the previous episode Isaac Bruce is nonetheless here at the wide receiver position coming with base 95 speed just like Henry Ruggs if you have sprinter maxed out remember that's gonna go up to 97 Let's talk about the deep route running first at 88. You want to put go deep on him, it's going to go all the way up to 92, right? The drawback here is the short and medium route running. Had these been 86 overall, 
I don't feel like Isaac Bruce would be going for the price that he's going for right now because you could put play fake on all of your players to get that up to tier 10, in which case then he would have 90 short route running and 90 medium route running, meeting that 90 threshold. You guys just play better. They play different when you go from 89 to 90 as opposed from, say, 90 to 91 or 88 to 89, right? It's been in the game for a long time. But nonetheless, better catching stats, catching traffic, spec catch than Henry Ruggs. And one of the better aspects of Isaac Bruce is the fact that he has the route runner archetype. As previously mentioned, if you put route tech on this Isaac Bruce, it's going to be a two ability point ability. If you want to put slot apprentice on him, I believe it's only going to be a one ability point ability. To whereas, had you put that on you know, Henry Ruggs, it's going to at least be a two, maybe even a three ability point ability, but I don't even think Henry Ruggs could get that. So the fact that Isaac Bruce has very similar receiving stats, the same speed, and that he's a route runner archetype is why I put him a nudge over Henry Ruggs. Let's back out. Go ahead and take a look at the price and just how much this card's going for. Like I said, if he met that 90 threshold with some chemistries for his route running, all of his route running, I think you'd see this card going well, well past 46K, even though it's a 91 overall card. But 46K, well under that 100K mark. This Isaac Bruce is a nasty wide receiver on any budget team. If you're looking to save some coins, go ahead and pick this one up. He comes in at number two. All right, coming in at number one on the list, the budget card you need to have at wide receiver is going to be this 93 overall, Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Chad Ochocinco, a.k.a. you can't guard me because of his stats and his attributes, right? Let's take a look at him. So, the speed is not going to be as fast as Ruggs or as Isaac Bruce, right? So, it's base 92 speed. But one thing you've got to remember with this card is it does come with a power-up. Now, you'll see the power-up is pretty cheap. You don't necessarily need to buy it if you didn't want to. You could go through and play Chad Johnson's Legend Challenge and you actually get his power-up. But it's only going for like 3K. So, if you wanted to go ahead and buy it, it's not going to break the bank by any means, right? You do that. You power him all the way up. He's going to have 93 speed. That 93 is always a mark you want to look for because when you have 40 sprinters which I would definitely prioritize adding sprinter to your team especially for your wide receivers your corners your safeties etc it's going to go up to 95 speed when powered up and once you have 40 sprinters right so it's meeting that 95 threshold let's take a look at the route running stats so route running at 90 short and 90 medium is better than either of the other cards with the stock cards as it is and when you consider if you power it up it's going to go to 91 short and 91 medium. And remember, you get plus four for having tier 10 play fake. So it would go to 95 short and 95 medium route running. So you'd have a 95 speed wide receiver meeting 95 short and 95 medium route running. That's why this card is a little better than the other two. You want to use him as your deep route runner. 91 without even powering up, you could get go deep. It's going to go up to 95. You want to power it up, it's going to go to 96, right? So I would say powering this card up is definitely a must because of the speed, but you wouldn't need to power him up based on his route running, his deep route running attribute because you could just put go deep on your players. Once you get up to your 10, it's going to plus four. It's going to be at 95, right? I would power it up fully though because that plus speed additionally from 94 to 95 is going to make a huge difference. Better catching, catching traffic, and spec catch than the other receivers as well. He also has the route runner archetype. And remember how important that is. Route tech's a two ability point ability. If you put slot apprentice on him, which he can get, it's only going to be a one ability point ability. So if that's beneficial to you in your offense, definitely think you need route, route tech, in my opinion, especially if you're on a budget. You're going to need those wide receivers to get a little bit more separation, especially when your opponent is coming out in man coverage. That is still one of the better coverages, one of the more seen coverages that you're going to see in Madden. You definitely want to make sure it looks up if you're just running exclusively man coverage and you've got someone like Chad Johnson. Most definitely you should be able to beat it based on the routes that you're able to put out, and especially if you put route tech on him. Uh, but nonetheless, that's why you want to get this thing up to 95 speed and put route tech on him. Combine that with the additional boost from the short and medium route running for play fake or the additional boost from the deep route running for go deep is why I feel like this is the number one card. Let's back out. 
Let's actually take a look and see how much his price is going for with his base 93 card. So you can pick it up for 90k. It's been up for 15 minutes. You can see that other one's been up for about 26 minutes right now. Has not sold. Maybe you could get this thing for about 85k or so. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at his power up and see how much his power up is costing. I don't think it's going to be in the 70, 74. It's definitely not. It's going to be 75 to 79. Remember, you don't need to buy this power up. I mean, as you can see, it's going for 2.7k. You could just go do his legend challenge and it would give you the power up. Let's say, for example, Chad Johnson gets another card, right? This power up could increase in price. If it does, you can still go over to the legend challenges. You can do that challenge. It's going to grant you the power up for getting one star on the challenge. So you don't even have to do anything too complicated for it if the price does happen to rise. But for all the reasons I mentioned, Chad Johnson is definitely the number one card that you want to have. If you're on a budget and you need a wide receiver, best route runner, good speed, almost there with Ruggs and almost there with Isaac Bruce. You know, the, the boost from 95 to 97 is noticeable, but it's not definitely as noticeable as, say, from 93 to 94, if that makes any sense, because it's on that 95 threshold that you want to meet, right? So, Chad Johnson, go pick him up. He is the number one budget wide receiver right now in Madden 21. Okay, so I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like rating. As always, if you have a comment, a question related to the video, if I did not explain something properly, or if you just want to say what's up, leave that in the comment section down below. I love interacting with each and every one of you down there. And if you'd like to see more content, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay updated with all of my uploads. Real quick, I'm blown away every single day by the support, by the amount of love that you guys show the channel. It means the absolute world to me, and I just want to say that I love you all back, and I cannot thank you enough for how you have helped the channel grow and are continuing to help the channel grow. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. I'm Jay Slay. I'm signing out today. I'll catch you all on my next video.